afternoon and welcome to the St. Clair College Sportsplex in beautiful Windsor, Ontario, the site of OCAA men's basketball action here on We Digital Productions. My name is Dominic Papa and I certainly have the great honor today of having a color commentator working with me and uh, nobody other, uh, better to find to help us out here today than that of the great athlete Shaylin Murphy. Welcome to the broadcast Shaylin oh, and uh, thank you. great to have you with us here today and thank you. It's, it's a rare day off like usually these oh, yeah. are double headers and you're getting ready for a game or, oh, yeah. or you had, <laughs> with productions OCA men's basketball action it's a single game today and crazy weather here in southwestern oh, Ontario. My. I asked the coach uh, Stephen uh, Hung uh, if, if, if they had any snow up in the North Bay, because that's where they're from, right? He said, no, no, nothing. It's dry. And I said, oh, so you brought it all down for us. <laughs> hey, we're getting we're getting a pretty good snow hit here today, which is uh, really crazy weather. Oh, yeah. <coughs> so here we go. Saints get first possession. That shot off the rim. Canador rebounds nicely, and they'll take the ball up court. This is Beachy. Beachy hands off to his teammate. That was Moses Orange. That shot off the backboard doesn't go. Good defense by Jalen. Harmon. He'll go to the basket. Nice takes take. the foul. Harmon with a nice drive there, Shaylin, and he draws the foul. Jalen Harmon, a fifth year player from Ypsilanti, Michigan. And there you can see it right there, the, the foul. Stripe just underway here into the first minute. Harmon hits his first free throw. It's nice to see Jalen back in the game. Hasn't been here for a while. He takes the pass. He'll set it up. McCallum over to Orange. Moses Orange draws a foul or? Carry. Carry, okay, They're calling a carry. That's why you're here, Jalen, to help <laughs> me out. Help the old guy out here. A little bit of a choppy start here. Here we'll see the carry. Right there, yeah. I guess. Yep, right there. Ball, the hand got underneath that ball. Yep. Price, his first effort goes Push it up short. to Zach. And Canadar. Gets on the scoreboard thanks to Moses Orange, first bucket of the afternoon. Harmon quickly back for the Saints, and again, Jalen Harmon going right to the hoop and drawing fouls early on here, Shaylin. Using his strength to get in there, going right and left. Going to get our first substitution of the game. Canador, number two, coming into the game. Petty out to Deer. Deer can't hit it, it's tipped. Kept in by the Panthers. McCallum back to Orange. Orange sends it cross court over to Terrence Williams. A quick push up by the Saints. And Williams was taken down. The Panthers seem to be a little confused there, spreading out the court, not taking them. Just letting them get an open drive. If he would have finished that, that would have been. Yeah, it was Perfect. almost, you know, they made the basket, the three, and then they just went dead. Yeah. And St. Clair, obviously, they took 33 it. to go here in the first quarter. Williams is good there. Look to draw even here now with the Panthers. So far, the Saints have pulled all their points from foul shots. So let's see if we can get some outside shots here. It's true. Great, great, uh, great acknowledgement there, Shaylin. Uh, but again, they're, they're really going hard to the bucket. It's not like they're even trying to set up for a three or even just an outside shot. It's good to get their looks first in the paint and then if they need to explore out there, they can. But so far they're able to drive it in on them and take it to the paint. Orange is stripped of the ball by Price. He runs after the loose ball and Price, easy bucket here will put the Saints back in the lead. Nice defensive play back here by the Saints. Mm -hmm. They lead it by two now with just over six minutes to go here in quarter number one. This is Moses Orange. Beachy pulls up the jumper. That's long. Canada rebounds. To get the 14 second shot clock. Beachy now will settle things down. Being watched by Petty. Beachy, a long three. three. That was from downtown almost. 
Saints come up with the rebound. Here's Williams. He'll go right to the bucket. Misses. Price is there, or I should say Petty's there for the rebound. Coach Stephen Hong, he wants to talk about it. Timeout uh, as the Canador is really not getting back. From Jalen. Yep. Very good heads up play. Here's what we're looking at right now. Shaylin alluded to it earlier in the broadcast. The Saints uh, uh, at 2-0, sitting in second place in the West Division, but they're ranked number five overall uh, in the I, I think that's national, in the, in the nationals in the country. Yep. That's right. Yeah. So you see Canada at the bottom, but that's a little deceiving, folks. Even though there's zero and four, this is this is a good young team, mm -hmm. and you know what? Uh, they, they play. You can see they play pretty tough. We'll see if you know they can continue out through the, the afternoon here. As uh, Shaylin talked about earlier in talking to Coach Hong, uh, you know, it's a day-to-day -day thing, a work in progress. So, uh, no doubt, uh, I think he's got some building blocks there to work with uh, by the looks of it early on here anyway, Shaylin. For sure. Definitely not a team that you can just try to pass by. You definitely got to put your full foot forward, and they got to play hard today and then once again tomorrow. Yeah, and, and, and you know, I talked to Coach uh, Brendan Segan earlier on in the week on the St. Sports Show, and and uh, he said, yeah, this is a game that we can't bypass. You know, it's almost like a trap game. He didn't want to say that, and I get that. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those games you can't look at their record and just assume, you know, it's going to be an easy win. Yeah. So Orange makes a move, tries to pull up. Another deep three. Off. Fortunately, a bad pass cost the Panthers this time. Beachy's going to take a break coming into the game is number five, Ty Huxtable. There's the long three that, uh, or uh, that was the orange reversal, I should say. What a basket that Very was. Very great play. They are trying to speed it up and give them back what they were getting. <laughs> Some great athleticism there. That's something Shaylin knows about, being a multi-sport athlete. Price loses control of the ball. He didn't like that there wasn't a call there. Saints. This is one of the young guys. Oh, oh my. my goodness. Oh, my. Miles Hall of the Saints. He, he can feel that one, oh. Shayla. <laughs> Saints will take over the ball. Price to Williams. Paul Williams down low to Ujulu and a nice hook Good. there as well. They got a lot of height on this team. Getting the ball into the paint there would be it's like a great it, it, game plan. Yeah, it seems like that's what's gonna work. I agree with you, Shayla. The Saints seem to be uh, slowing down the game slightly, not wanting to push it as much. But the Panthers are definitely going to be the, pushing that ball. They're pushing the tempo. There's a, a foul on an offensive charge. Beachy doesn't like the call. Great play by Hall, though, to take the hit. Or actually, it was Price, I should say. That Shaq was Price. Great positioning. Really was. Really was good positioning. and really utilizing their benches early on here well in this first quarter Hall slowly brings it up court for the Saints he'll go right down the middle and that pass intercepted Suffolk gets it over to Huxtable out to Beachy long shot that misses everything and a good rebound there by Simon. Tim Stewart. Travel is the call against the Saints. Just over a minute to go in this first quarter. Saints continue to lead 19 to 11. Back in the game is number three, Tevin McCallum. Coming out and earning a, a rest for sure is uh, number 23. That, of course, is Moses Orange. 
That three is good. That comes from uh, Tevin McCallum. What a way to step into the game. I'll tell you. It's his first points of the game. Eight-point lead with just over half a minute to go in quarter number one. Huxtable. One up. Saints are all over the rebound. Saints have been very strong on the board, Shaylin. Very much, especially defensively. Shot clocks. Very strong. Way to stay through that contact. Kept his balance. Good stuff. The Saints lead at 24-14. We're going to take a quick timeout. We'll come back with more OCA men's basketball action on We Digital Productions. to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. on the campus of St. Clair College here in Windsor, Ontario. Just about to start the second quarter of OCA men's basketball action here on We Digital Productions. Saints leading it by 10 after 10 minutes of play. My name is Dominic Papa and I'm very excited to be joined on our broadcast today by the outstanding Shaylin Murphy. Anything stand out in that first quarter, Shaylin? I just... I'm, there's a lot of takes to the basket, lots of foul calls for sure. Mm -hmm. Saints seemed to push the ball up early in the game and then started to slow it down, but the There's a turnover by the Panthers. Saints on the run quickly here. Stewart right to the basket. It's a great and take from him. The Panthers pay for that turnover. Good way to get on the board. That's Stewart's first couple of points of the game. Long three attempted here. That doesn't go. Here's Stewart with the rebound. Stewart looks over the situation, sends it, kicks it out over to Deer. Deer now decides to go inside, and again, the Saints getting Very some nice, nice paths to the basket. They seem to be maneuvering themselves around the defenders now. Less contact, but getting the, bus the basket, so... McCallum shot hits the front of the iron. So saying you're not going to be doing that in our court here. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a good foul to take there. Martin now on the straight. He's good from the first one. Martin stands at six six. Fourth year player, one of the veterans, one of the few veterans on this team. We got a violation over here. Yep. On Chad, Vincent Simon. A little early in on the step in there for the board. Yep. Panthers can't take advantage of it though. Williams. Finish, finish. You could, of course, tune into We Digital, and uh, we're more than happy to bring you all the action here. Great stuff, OCA Athletics, that's for sure. So after the timeout, Panthers continue on the offense here. Martin pulls up. Beachy, a long three, and he hits it. Panthers are getting hot, Shaylin. They are getting hot over here. And you can see the bench is just up, and you can hear it just off to the side of us here. They've pulled to within five. The Panthers seem to be playing a zone defense right now, trying to keep the Saints out of the paint. But Jalen's not letting that happen. <laughs> no, Harmon goes Almost. to the bucket, but doesn't uh, find the uh, net. Here now with four in the game. Beachy over to Martin. Back to Beachy. 
Saints doing a really good job of switching, Shaylin. Very they aggressive lose, defense. They lose that ball there momentarily, but now they get it back. This is Harmon. Up to Williams, and Williams goes to the basket hard. No call, and he makes the bucket. Saints have opened up a 10-point lead again. Ball down a little bit, working the zone defense, trying to get a little, little more of a good look over here. Williams goes inside as they kick it out here, and Williams will. That's a great take, trying to step around the defender, making him step into him. Looks like Moses Orange drew the foul. That's his second foul of the game. Here you see Orange talking it over with head coach Stephen Chung. This is the second one. Orange. Nice defense there. Very aggressive but defense from the Saints. Definitely. And Harmon came up with the steal, but unfortunately he stepped on the out of bounds line. Canador will get the ball back. 5.16 to go here in the first half. And coach Stephen Hung quickly comes over and calls a timeout. He wants to talk it over with the guys, maybe do a little reset on the offense. But uh, the Saints lead it by nine, 34-25. It's nine points leading the Panthers. Deer comes back with his own three. Josiah Deer getting the hot hand over here. That's the second three of the game so far. And I think he's just gonna start heating up from here, especially with that zone defense. They're gonna get a lot more outside looks. Deer now has 10 in the game. And he comes up with the rebound over to Shaq Price, back over to Deer. Back out to Deer, and you're right, Shaylin. Yes. He's heating up it for is. sure. Two in a row. He's got the hot hand right now, that's for sure. 408 remaining here in the first half. The Saints yeah. have been really hot on defense lately. They've just been very aggressive, and they're not letting anybody take it into them, for sure. Price misses on the free throw. Beachy now. And look at Price anticipating nicely there. Williams can't handle the pass, though. Saints will turn over the ball as Williams a little disappointed with himself. up court. Deer pulls up, kicks it out to Price. Price is good for the three. Nice drive there by Moses Orange for the Panthers. Hall pulls up, then decides to go in. An easy Great layup, take. smart heads up play there by Miles Hall. He's definitely using his speed as an advantage there in that play. Long shot, misses. Price is knocked down, didn't like it. Saints will throw the ball in. Here's Hall. Long shot from Hall, and that misses wide. Beachy looked down court, decides to keep it. Boy, the Saints have really been stingy on the defense. Another turnover forced by St. Clair. There's a shot from Deer that, yeah, he's in some pain. Some Looks like he's favoring his left ankle formation for you as the broadcast goes on here. It's always upsetting to see a player go down. Absolutely. You know, you, you, you work all week at Pro Pill to Swallow, that's for sure. 
especially with him being one of their top scorers of the game today. For sure, for sure. It's definitely hard for the Panthers. And, and you know, the other thing with this, the Panthers, of course, will be on the road again tomorrow. They'll be in Lampton, to, uh, in the Sarnia area, to take on Lampton. So, uh, you know, tough week. I think you may have a new signature move. Maybe. <laughs> Putting a little bit of a show on there. <laughs> Huxable pulls up, move. sends it out. That shot from Logan Roy doesn't hit. Saints turn over the ball. Huxable gonna try to go to the basket, and he's called for the charge. Shaq Price standing tall. See the turnover here. Oh no, this was the last basket. I'm sorry. This is all. <coughs> we'll talk to Stephen Hong of the. Canada Panthers and also we'll get the stats from the first half Price misses his first one good with the second one Saints lead by 16 Being guarded by Stewart. Tucks the ball. Long three. And he's called for the travel before the shot. A little extra step there to get away from the defender. Yeah. Josiah Deer comes back in the game. Stewart. Takes a break. Continue our coverage of OCA men's basketball action here at We Digital Productions. We're coming to you live from the beautiful sportsplex on the campus of St. Clair College. The men's basketball team in action here. They lead the Canada Panthers 52 36 after 20 minutes of play. The co head coach of the Saints, Matt Sykes, joins us. Good, uh, good to have you here again. Co a lot of open looks. Um, struggling to hit shots a little bit right now. A lot of our. Uh a lot of our points were in the paint. Uh, thank God for Josiah to hit in a bunch of shots there and mm. when, they, when they went to their 2-3 zone. So we got to continue to, to be aggressive because uh, as we, this was the exact same score of the Niagara game at half. So <laughs> we gotta, we got to be able to uh, continue to push in the third quarter. It's funny you mentioned that because I didn't want to bring it up, but now that you mentioned it, yeah, that 16-point lead yep. against Niagara evaporated, and uh, yep. certainly we don't want to see that again. Uh, I didn't have any nails left after that one. So, But um, it's, it, it looks... Yeah, as we're getting healthier, uh, our guys are getting more bodies back. We're getting our, our main guys back. They're uh, they're able to attack more, and, and a little dribble drive um, is what our offense is based off of. And if we can get some good looks early uh, in the lane, it, it'll help us open up the three ball uh, mm -hmm. later in the game. What's what's evolving here? Like you, you look at here, Coach Sykes, 52 points, and we were talking about a Shailin and I were talking about it in the broadcast. Uh, Scoring is not a problem for this team. Uh, it's, it's 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 just something that's evolved and. You look at it here, even today, it's spread around pretty good. The, the, this team's scary good mm -hmm. as far as scoring mm -hmm. goes. Yeah, ta talent. Talent yeah, it helps. Yeah. Uh, it makes mine and Coach Egan's job a lot easier when we got mm -hmm. the talent that we do. Um, the guys, they buy into what, what we're doing, our system and stuff, and, and they run stuff properly. And you can see it sometimes when we get away from it, we struggle to score a little bit, but when they stick to it's better than 0-4, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, their record doesn't do them justice. Even, oh. even their scores don't do them justice. They're in every game that they play. Um, 
they just they, they, they work hard. They're well coached. He's a, he's a great coach over there. He gets them to buy into what he's doing too. And uh, they got a couple of really good players over there that keep them in games. Yeah, but but I, and what I brought up to Coach Segan, I'll mention it to you. What was focused on during the week preparing for this weekend, and especially with Canada, you look at that 0-4 record and boy, we call it a trap game. I don't want to call it a trap game, but but just the same, it's hard not to look past it. Yeah, trying to tell them to not focus on Mohawk tomorrow, to focus on one quarter at a time against Canada. Um, they, like you said, they're a really well-coached basketball team, and they knew they were going to have a plan for us offensively and defensively. So we made sure that we zoned in on them, and, and we took care of them, made sure we took care of their side of the ball first. Okay, let's get into the second half if we can, Coach uh, Sykes, and uh, we got to get you back into the room. But uh, you mentioned that you alluded to it last game against Niagara, that, you know, that 16-point lead. Nothing's safe in this league mm -hmm. at the OCA mm -hmm. level. So uh, what's going to be, uh, I guess, uh, stress to the guys and, and, and you know, do you change anything coming into the yeah, second half? Yeah, uh, we just got to play our game. We got to make sure we take care of the ball. If we if we don't take care of the ball, we'll be in a battle. And, mm -hmm. and we got to rebound and and do the little things right. If we can do the little things right, we'll hold this lead. But if we if we loll again like we did against Niagara, we will be in a dogfight. All right. Always great to talk to you, Coach. Appreciate that's your time. Right. And uh, that's uh, co-head coach Matt Sykes of the Saints uh, taking care of business. We're going to take a timeout. When we come back, we'll continue on with our halftime report. This is OCAA Men's Basketball Action on We Digital Productions. No. No. I never smoked any. Sure, I, I smoked a bit. But it was more your your mom who was into it. Pot grows naturally, but it won't help you grow as a person. Talking cannabis with your teen can be learned. Download our free brochure. You know what? Poison ivy grows naturally, but it's not good for you, is it? Find the answers you need at drugfreekidscanada.org. Welcome back to the St. Clair College Sportsplex. We are continuing with our halftime report. OCA men's basketball action here on We Digital Production. It's the Canador Panthers taking on the St. Clair College Saints, the men's team uh, in action here. 20 minutes is complete, the first half, and the Saints have grabbed a 16-point lead. And this is the numbers that tell that story. Uh, field goals, again, the Saints uh, shooting very well. Three-point field goals. Actually, Canador was a little bit better uh, with that, and you can see the uh, percentage uh, does indicate that. That's one area where Canador was pretty good. Free throws, the Saints went to the free throw stripe often in that first half and took full advantage of it as well, going 12 of 16. Uh, turnovers, the Saints, um, you know, the Saints have only given the ball up four times, Canador eight times, on the, and the Saints very good that way, especially on the defensive side of it. Uh, the points on turnovers, points off turnovers, the Saints again taking advantage of that situation. Rebounds, the uh, Saints are five better than the Panthers there. The block's pretty even, and steals as well pretty even. When you put it all down like that, it comes out to a 52-36 to St. Clair halftime lead. Another quick timeout. When we come back, we'll check in with the Canador Panthers head coach, Stephen and we'll get his thoughts about the first half. This is OCAA Men's Basketball Action on We Digital Productions. Headed. 
I'm just going to hang out. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. For every big breath, for every little breath, and for every breath in between, Ontario Power Generation is committed to keeping Ontario's air clean. That's why the power we generate is 99% free of smog and carbon emissions. Because clean air matters to us all. Welcome back to the St. Clair College Sportsplex. OCA men's basketball action, as promised at the break. The head coach of the Canadore Panthers, Stephen Hong, uh, joins us. Coach Hong, thanks for doing this with us. And quick thoughts about that first half. Oh no, I thought you no, know, it was a very tough uh, first quarter for us. You no, know, we couldn't uh, we couldn't get ourselves out of foul trouble. So we're, we're making our buckets earned on our offensive for them. But you know, it was very easy for St. Clair to you know get those easy buckets at the free throw line, and even their transition. So that was something we were really focusing on. Um, and then the second. Second quarter, you know, we did much better, and then, you know, St. Clair just kind of went on their run there, and we're trying to just, you know, uh, get back into it into the second half. It's no secret, Coach Hung, uh, St. Clair, even in their first couple of games, are, are able to score, and, and we saw maybe a little bit of an indication of that in that first half. How can you slow that down here in the second half? Uh, again, we're trying to take away, you know, one of the things that they do very well, which is their transition offense. So mm -hmm. that's what we're trying to do right now, just stop them transition-wise and just trying to they try to earn stops for us uh, when they're in a half court set. So that's what we've been focused on throughout the past week and just trying to you know limit them with their uh, transition buckets. Saints went really hard in the first quarter as well, coach, going to the bucket, going into the to, to the paint uh, and, and you know drawing a lot of fouls. Uh, how tough is that to defend? Uh, I think it's one of the things you know our players are being very aggressive and you know, you know it's it's tough in the sense we have that aggression taken away from us with all the fouls being being uh, you know called on us. So that's why we have to go back to our, you know, our to our bench and have you know other guys step up on their role. Um, you know, again, obviously, you know, St. Clair is a very talented team. And, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, we have to compete whether you know you have you know, talents or not. You still got to play regardless whether it's uh, you know you're playing in Windsor or you're playing somewhere else. You still got <laughs> you still play at the end of the day. It's still five on five. Well, this is a veteran-laden lineup, the Saints. And of course, you had mentioned, and, and we looking at your line, very young roster. I was impressed at how how competitive they remain though coach that's a good sign that's yeah. something that you can really build on that's not something we try to talk about in our practice you know we got to compete every single possession no no you know, this league is a very tough league against one of the well it's, again one of the best divisions mm. in the country right now mm. so it's one of those things you know just like hey every game is gonna be a tough game but you know you want to be in these positions you want to be in these environments where you know you're playing very good games every single day and that's what we want as a, as a program well, i think you got some good building blocks there coach and you're doing a good job with this young team all right wish you the best of luck the rest of the way and uh, thanks for doing this with us. all right thank you so much all appreciate right. it coach stephen hong doing a good job with this young team we're going to take a quick time out when we come back shaylin murphy will join me we'll have the call of the second half of action it's ocaa men's basketball on we digital productions turn you into a morning person. It can help fuel some pretty tough stuff. And it can definitely make cartoons funnier. No, it can't. Oh, well, it can have a little edge. But come on, even kitties love it. It'll keep up with you at any age. It makes engines whirr. And creme brulee, cremey. It's one of the easiest labels you'll ever read. And anything that makes this happen is pretty special. In fact, what can't milk do? Every child should learn how to swim for health, for safety, and for fun. That's why we've started Canada's Swim Team. 
Learn to swim at least 25 meters on your own, and you're on the team. Canada's swim team. It's that easy. Help make us the world's largest swim team by adding your name at GetSwimming.ca. Ask your parents first. Swimming, the only sport that can save your life. Welcome back to the Sportsplex at St. Clair College. Men's basketball action. The Saints leading the Panthers 52-36. We're just about set for second half action. Dominic Papa along with the outstanding athlete Shaylin Murphy. And boy, all the friends are checking in with you, aren't they? Oh, yeah. I got a chance to look at my phone uh, during the halftime, and I got the Crusader Twins watching me. What an yeah, honor. And, and Logan, yeah. That's great that they're tuning in, and hopefully all is going well for those two outstanding athletes. They got great things coming for them, for oh, sure. Yeah. And it's beautiful where they are. Yeah. And, of course, uh, mom is watching, right? Oh, <laughs> yep. My mom told me that I am the funniest person she's ever met, and I agree. <laughs> <laughs> We're very, very, very blessed to have you around, Shayla, and that's for sure. Thank you. Second half just getting underway here, and uh, right away, Canador, or the Saints, I should say, draw a foul and Darnell Petty will get action going again Price to Williams pulls up he comes up short there Moses Orange for the Panthers to Beachy there's another nice steal, steal by the Saints this is Williams. He's going to go all the way too hard at the basket. And Petty couldn't follow up. Panthers dodge a bullet there. Orange with a nice bucket there for the Panthers. He's impressive. Williams quickly down court, down floor. Sends it back out to Price. Long three. Three there. Oh, my. He was almost at half court <laughs> launching that one. Beachy's long three goes long. Williams. Both teams seem to be slowing the ball a little bit more. Yeah, I would agree with you there. A little collision there. Yeah, Harmon and uh, looks like Petty going to the same lane there. And Harmon getting up slowly. Also wearing a new jersey. <laughs> There you go. Yes. He's he at number one right now. Yeah, he changed jerseys. I believe that he might have gotten a little bit of substances on his shirt, so he needs to change that up. And normally he wears number seven. Price quickly up floor. Pass into the middle, doesn't connect. Canador will take over the ball. Slow start to the second half, as far as scoring goes, anyways. Suffolk. Orange. Watch there by Williams. Orange gets into the paint, gets the shot off. They're seeing an offensive foul. Coach Hong doesn't like it. It's a great move by Orange, but Jalen is there, planted, ready to go. Takes that charge really well. Jalen's done that two or three times today, taking that uh, hard hit for the team. 
Price. And a nice tip in there by Harmon. Martin is fouled on his way to the basket. That'll be Darnell Petty with the foul. His first of the game. Martin with three points so far here this afternoon. We did get, I did get a chance to uh, ask Coach Hong about uh, Tevin uh, McCallum who was injured in that first ha half. Good news is he thinks it's just a spring, uh, nothing uh, too serious. So. Uh, He's, he's okay. He's obviously done for the afternoon, but uh, looks like just a sprain right now. That's so. good. Hopefully we can get him back up and going for the game tomorrow or even next week's game. For sure, for sure. This is Shaquille Price. Deer pulls up, back out to Price. Williams shot off the rim and that's an over the back foul from Jalen Harmon. Yeah. Jalen Harmon the guilty man there for the Saints. It's his first foul. Team second here in the second half. Shot from Orange, not a good one. Harmon back up for the Saints. Over to Simon. He tried to kick it out. And again, the Saints are able to come up with the loose ball. Simon. That's a good board there. <laughs> posts up and uh, lays one up. Saints up 17 now. Hopefully that brings up the energy a little bit. It seems to be a little dull here after that half. Really, really much different pace and game. I agree with you, Shaylin. And Zach with the three. Shot from Deer, puts the outside of the rim, doesn't go. Moses Orange, quick Good pass defense. up, yep. Chad Vincent Simon getting a hand on that ball. He's saying that it went off the Panther player last before going out, but not gonna win that argument, but a good effort though by, uh, by Simon. Sure. The Saints defense has been very aggressive, a lot of jumping into the passing lane, taking away those passes. They're getting a lot of turnovers from that. Yeah, and that was indicated in our stats at halftime. Vici sets up the offense now for the Panthers. Martin, he'll try a three and he hits it. Zach, Martin's got the hot hand right now with two threes in a row. And he's up to 10 points now as well. Simon comes back with a bucket for the Saints. Beachy goes into the paint, dishes it out, kicks it out. Here's Huxtable trying to get it down low. Saints knock it down momentarily. And now the Saints come up with a loose ball. Here's Williams up to Deer. Deer, easy bucket. Coach Hong talked about the transition, yes, and there you saw a quick transition. Yeah. That could be deadly, that's for sure. And there they go again, pushing up that ball. Yeah. <laughs> Simon upset with himself. A little himself. bit of anger yeah. from that. That misses everything, and look at this. This is, this is obviously a planned play, oh, yeah. Shailen, you know, uh You can see the Saints guys at the top, the guys that are out high, they just take it off right away. Yep. And uh, you know what, they're catching the, the Panthers just flat-footed. A lot of easy buckets like that. As soon as that shot goes up, they're fleeing, and they're looking for the pass. It's already predetermined. Yep. 
Huxtable pulls up and he hits the bucket for a deuce. Saints now lead by 15. Just over four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Price will try a three. Off the front of the rim. Deer there for the rebound. He draws the foul. Good hustle there by Josiah Deer. The way to strongly get that offensive board and put it right back up. Yep. Coach Hong calling out the signals here. Martin. He'll drive the lane and the last moment, I think that was Hanani Uljulo of the Saints and knocking it away. They left Uljulo at 6'7", fourth year player out of Kitchener. Moses Orange Strong stays take with it. Yep. And shot clock violation. Saints again showing strong defense. I think that's their second shot clock violation of the game. So you can definitely see they're putting the pressure on the Panthers here. Absolutely. Little things down and the Saints have opened up their biggest lead of the game. A 20 point cushion. Let's take a look at that bucket here, Shaylin. Once again, Miles Hall with that right hand drive in the hook. That's his signature move there, and no one can Hard stop him. Hard to defend, him. isn't it? Yeah, nobody can stop because that. Because you get that body in between you mm -hmm. and the basket, and the ball's way out here. You're yeah, not getting you're to not the ball. You're not touching that. So. Especially he places it just perfectly onto that board. It's always going yeah. in. That's where. Very I, consistent. Uh, on a defense, I'm, I'm no basketball expert by any means. You're the expert here, Shaylin. Uh, but that's where that weak side defender has to come and help. Hucks the ball. Horns with a deep three. Petty trying to push the ball, but brings back out. Miles with the three, and it's good. Sorry about that. Thanks for filling in there, Shayla. <laughs> nice. That brings him to 17. A little bit of paperwork here. <laughs> um, yep, so the Saints again uh, really opening up uh, the, the score here now. Orange can't get in. Just a stingy defense today. As that time it was Petty who now has the ball. Over to Hall. He can't get this one to go. Martin, oh, oh may have got away that, with the travel there. Yeah, that might have been close. Long that three a good from shot right there. Moses Orange. Very good. I'm going, I'll tell you what, Hanani Ujulo has been really good on the boards at oh. both ends. Oh, yeah. We got Tim Stewart. Ujulo's good with his first. Second one doesn't go. Here's Orange. That's some good Another, pressure defense yep, right there. Yep. Another turnover by the Panthers. The two new incomers definitely put some pressure on the ball there, causing that turnover. He uh, backing over. So the Panthers will take over the ball. We're under a minute to go here in the third quarter, 47.6 seconds to be exact. Saints with a 21-point lead, looking good to go on to their third victory of the season. And I only say that at this point because normally I don't like to go there, but the Saints are playing very well today. And unless they, you know, there's a com complete collapse here, Shaylin, I can't see. Yeah.
Andrew Dingotti getting the charge call. Seems like everything the Saints have been trying to do, it's worked out as we take a look at it yeah. here. Now, with that said, you have to consider the opponents, and no disrespect to Canada, but uh, I do think Niagara might be a little bit. Three quarters of play. The Saints have a 23 point lead heading into the fourth and final quarter. They lead at 75 52. More OCAA basketball action right after these messages. You're watching it on We Digital Productions. take a drink just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't i promise love you too dad they really do hear you for tips on what to say visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov welcome back to the st Clair college sportsplex on the campus of st Clair college oca men's basketball action the st That's anything standing out there, Shaylin? Yeah, there's a, a very big difference in the amount of foul shots taken. The Panthers have gone to the line about three times in this entire game, and the St. Clair Saints have definitely been there a lot more times than that. That's yep. definitely helping here. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's what we talked about earlier, Shaylin, in the first half, how they were going to the, in, into the paint, right to the bucket hard, and it drew a lot of fouls. So. Yep. And with their very strong defense, it's really hard for the Panthers to get that opportunity in there. So. Beachy does hit a nice three for the uh, Panthers. Stewart. Travel the call, another turnover. Petty quickly now up court after taking the rebound. A lot of offensive boards in this possession right here. Ujulo sticks with it. Petty there sticks with it. Pe Petty gets rewarded for staying tough in the paint. Just noticed that uh, William Bafong is in the game, Shailen. I apologize I didn't mention that. Also another first year student. It's nice to get them some minutes. Absolutely. Jungadi quickly down floor, lays up a nice left-hander. Solutions for both teams coming in. Hall comes back in for the Saints along with Chad Vincent Simon. Martin. The Panthers, we got Logan Parker coming in. Okay. Just over seven minutes to go in this one. Huxtable stays with it, can't get it to fall though with a second try. That pass blocked. Huxtable, again, good effort there. Just Stewart spins and good. oh my, what a nice play Great by, play by Tim. Tim Stewart. Third year player out of Detroit. Michi's been pretty cold today from those three pointers. Give him credit for continuing to try, but uh, into the paint, knocked down, but still got the shot off and got it to fall. He takes that ball and he makes a nice turn, and he's just going up real strong. Great finish. 
Great effort there. Great placement of that ball. That puts Chad Vincent Simon at four, uh, five, uh, nine. have a timeout on the floor. 5.54 to go here in this contest. Saints will improve to 3-0. and oh. And Canador will continue to look for their first victory. They'll try again tomorrow afternoon in Lamp at Lambton, where the Saints will be here at home in tough with the Mohawk Mountaineers. And Shaylin Murphy will also be in action. We get to watch her do her thing on the court. Excited. This game's warming me up, getting me ready for there the game go. tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. To watch a good OCA athletic competition, that's for sure. And the Saints uh, ladies will be looking to improve to two and one, hopefully. Um, Nice bounce back win after the first game. And uh, I'm sure, uh, it's a, as Coach Kiss said, it's going to take a bit of work, but uh, getting you back into the lineup after an outstanding softball year, uh, I think that's going to help the cause for sure. And uh, I like what I saw in that last game, though, that's for sure, Shaylin. I Put that out there. <laughs> Put it out there. Put it out there. Very well deserved. Absolutely. Worked so hard for that. Yeah, she was really good, that's for sure. It was a good effort, though. I was really impressed on how. Uh, the team bounced back after that first defeat, and uh, that's a, always a good sign when a team can do that like yeah. that. So, felt very fluid. Yep. Starting to get to know each other a little bit better. Jungadi's three that hits the side of the iron. Yeah. Beachy is a. Third year player. He's from St. Foy, Quebec. Actually, uh, when you're up in North Bay, that's not too far away, anyways, but. Uh, not very tall. They list him at 5'10. He's got nine right now. Let's see if he can get himself to 10. And he does. Miles Hall moves it up court. Great move. Bafong is blocked nicely there, though, by number 20 personnel-wise on the floor. Hall now has 20, and the Saints have reached the 90-point plateau again. Ujulu comes back in the game, and Hall is going to take a seat. He's... Uh, He's earned it. Definitely. Coming off the bench and dropping 20 points is... Pretty impressive. Very, he's running the floor phenomenally. No look pass from Betchy. And that did, did not go in his favor. Work out too well for yeah, him. did not go in his favor. <laughs> I don't but. know if I'd advise that very <laughs> often. Especially the Saints defense has really been very focused. Oh, yeah. Betchy is... <laughs> taken down as he drive was driving to the basket he'll go to the foul line 352 to go here the Saints got Tutu Jingati coming in for Chad Vincent Simon and we got Ethan Scammon coming in for the shooter I believe that's on the Canador side Six first-year players for Coach Hong on his squad. Fun to watch, that's for sure. <laughs> you can feel the energy in the Saints. The, the Panthers are a little more timid with their energy, but 
I mean, I guess they have to work, play another game tomorrow as well. That well, it's going to be a little difficult. Yeah, you know, you want to finish on a positive note, but just the same. Yeah, now yeah. you start thinking about tomorrow, you, you know, uh, save some of the energy perhaps. There's a nice effort put up by... Jangadi draws the foul. As time winding down here in this contest. As you can see, he's pushing through that defender and he just can't stick with him. It's on the floor foul. Looks like this call is going to go against the Saints. Hey, boss, boss, boss. A push. That'll be on Adam Maslum. Here's a look at that last bucket by the Saints. Very good defense and very good awareness from Tim right there, tipping that ball out of his hand and getting it right to him. Not falling for the Panthers. Good idea trying to post up one of the smaller players on the floor, but. Just a minute to go in this one. I'll let you announce our player of the game, Shaylin, and uh, we'll uh, check in and chat with him after this game. But go ahead and announce our player of the game. All right. Uh, the player of the game is Miles Hall. Very well deserved. Great offensively. And Ontario Power Generation is committed to keeping Ontario's air clean. That's why the power we generate is 99% free of smog and carbon emissions. Because clean air matters to us all. low so you don't have to worry about that part mm -hmm. what, what uh, I guess you know you're, you're, you're now three and0 uh, confidence is there I would imagine uh, we'll get into the Mohawk game in just a moment but, but where is this team continually working miles uh, you know game in and game out what's being stressed and how are how are you I guess pushing yourselves to get better each game just holding each other accountable on both sides of the ball but really our defense we, we made a really good run last year didn't go mm -hmm. the way we wanted it to, but our goal is to try to get back to that spot and actually close out, and it starts on the defensive end. Yeah, for sure. Tell me about uh, Mohawk tomorrow. Uh, this is a team that can put up a lot of points again. Sure. Uh, talk about defense. How important is defense going to be tomorrow? Very important. Huge game. And, uh, certainly uh, well-deserved pl uh, player of the game. Thank you. Uh, congrats on it. Uh, look forward to watching in action again tomorrow. Thank you. See you All tomorrow. Right. Miles Hall, outstanding here this afternoon for the uh, Saints as their team wins 110 to 66 over the Canador Panthers. So, quickly, I'll remind you again, tomorrow we will be back here at the Sportsplex. Uh, the uh, men and women will both be in action tomorrow. The Mohawk Mountaineers will be in town to take on the Saints. The tip at 1 o'clock for the women, 3 o'clock for the men. We hope you can join us for that. We'd much rather see you here at the Sportsplex, though. Always a great place to come and watch a game, and tomorrow's game is well worth the admission. So if you can uh, make it down to the Sportsplex, but if not, we've got you covered here on We Digital. That's the story here today. On behalf of everybody here at We Digital Productions, this is Dominic Papa thanking you for tuning in. Take care, everybody. We'll see you all again soon. <laughs>